Hey everyone, this is Theo. Today's video is for watercolor beginners who are using student grade watercolor paint and are thinking of upgrading to using something of higher quality but don't want to spend too much money. So I'm going to give you some suggestions of some brands and sets that you can get based on my personal experience. So uh, let's get started. Student grade paint have their purpose. They help beginners get into watercolor, learn about basic watercolor characteristics, basic painting techniques. But after you have used them for a while, you may discover there are limitations. For example, sometimes it's a bit difficult to mix vibrant colors from student grade colors. Or sometimes in order to achieve that vibrant color, you have to use a lot of paint and you use up the colors are pretty quickly. That's because some of these colors, they have more filler compared to pigment. So that's why you need to use more colors. So here I have with me is a student grade paint from Winsor Newton, Cotman series. So the quality for this is actually quite good. Now you can get vibrant colors straight from the pen like this. I'm not sure what this color is, but I scraped off a lot of color from the pen to paint this swatch. And now let's compare this with Artist Great Paint. I'm going to compare this with White Knight's watercolor. This is made by Navskaya Palitra, a company from Russia. So same thing, I'm going to paint this swatch here. This is not a very fair comparison because these two colors are not exactly the same. The swatches are almost dry, so let's take a closer look. So usually colors, they are more intense when they are wet, they lighten slightly when they are dry. So for the Cotman color, a side-by-side -side comparison tells me immediately that the White Knight's color is more intense. It was intense when it was wet, but it remains as intense when it dried. So the quality difference is quite obvious. And now let's use this color to mix a purple. I'm going to add French ultramarine to it. So this is Cotman again, and this is French ultramarine. I am, I am once again scraping a lot of paint from the pan, trying to get a nice purple. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to mix the same purple with white nights. So as soon as I lay down the color, I can tell straight away that this is a very strong color. And this is the purple you can get. The swatches are now dry and straight away I can tell once again the cool red from the white nights it's more vibrant. As for the purple, comparing them side by side it's actually a bit difficult for me to tell which one is more vibrant. Maybe the white nights version is more vibrant but um, sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell when you are comparing swatches like this. But when you are using student grade paint to paint a whole painting versus using artist quality paint to paint a whole painting, when you put them side by side, the quality, the difference will be very obvious. When you start out with a color that is less vibrant, that color is going to affect your color mixtures. So this is a closer look at the Cotman. And this is the White Knight. So maybe this is a bit more vibrant. My first recommendation is, if you haven't already guessed, it's White Knight's watercolor. This is a pretty affordable set. Let's take a look at the price on Amazon. It's 20, around 29 US dollars. So for that amount of money, you are getting full size pans. There are 12 colors. Now, this set, the Winston Newton Cotman brush pen set, it's only around US $14. So this is half the price of this. So even though this is more expensive, like two times more expensive, you are getting 
two times the amount of paint and you are getting artist quality paint. One thing I don't like about this White Knight set is some of the colors, they are a bit opaque. So opaque colors, they are not good for mixing, especially with transparent colors, they are going to affect the opacity. They are not good for glazing, they are good for covering. And if you are doing pen, ink, and watercolor sketches, opaque colors, they are going to cover the pen and ink lines. So that's the downside for this particular set, but overall still pretty uh, worth the money. As for the other recommendations that I have, I do not have the actual paint on hand to paint color swatches for you, but I have definitely used all of um, these colors, all of these brands before. So these are based on my personal experience. The second suggestion is the M. Graham 5 tube set. Each tube is 15 ml, so you're going to get a lot of paint for US $30. Even though there aren't a lot of colors, just five colors, you can actually learn more about color mixing from a limited color palette. The downside to this uh, set, or actually maybe it's an upside depending on your perspective, the paint they use um, honey. So they have honey to prevent the paint from hardening. So this tube set, this is not good for those people who want to squeeze the tubes, for those people who want to squeeze tube paint into the pan, the paint, the tube paint, it's not going to harden and it's going to run when you move around. But um, in terms of quality, I think M. Graham, they have very high quality paint. Prima Marketing, it's also um, not bad, but I'm not very sure about the actual um, light fast quality. In terms of vibrancy, the colors, they are very vibrant. By the way, I have a YouTube video review for this paint as well. This particular set comes with 12 colors and this is the Tropicals set. And that's US $19. This is the White Knights watercolor. $29. And the last set that I would recommend is this Mission Go watercolor set. It's more expensive. I think this is more expensive compared to all the other options that I've shown you. 33 US dollars for 12 colors. These are actually tube colors. And each tube is 7 ml. So for 7 ml, you can actually refill a pan like this three times. So you're also going to get a lot of paint from this 12 tube set. And the quality of Mission Go watercolor, it's really high. For US $33, you're sort of like buying the equivalent of three box sets like this, but you're dealing with artist quality paint. And this are paint, they dry quite well in pens like this. So you can squeeze and refill them when you run out of paint. If you already have a box set like this, there's probably not a lot of reason to get another box. Although with some people um, collecting boxes like this is actually a thing. I have a lot of boxes too. But if you already have a box set like this, maybe it's better to just uh, get tube sets. And having said that, I would highly recommend the Mission Go watercolor set. It's really worth the money. If you are someone who is not going to be going outdoors for sketching, then the M. Graham 5 tube set is also a very good set and in, with fewer colors you can learn more about color mixing. So that's the advantage of this particular set. Um, I would say I would choose, for me personally, I would choose between M. Graham and Mission Go. But since I like to go outdoors for sketching, for painting, uh, my preference will be for Mission Go. If you are a beginner who hasn't bought anything yet, um, I would recommend this uh, either the Prima Marketing set or the White Knights set, not the Cotman set. So those are some recommendations based on my personal experience. They are not that expensive compared to even more expensive paint from Daniel Smith, Winston Newton Artist Series, Smink, Sennelier, um, all those paints, all those brands. Uh, they are more expensive. One tube, a 115 ml tube can range from 10 US dollar to 15 US dollar. So for 30 US dollar, you can only get two 
or three tubes but if you're going to buy the sets that I recommended earlier you can get a lot more paint and you can paint for a very long time so um, those sets they are much more worth the money so this is just a video with some ideas on how you can save some money or maybe spend more money it really depends on how you see it anyway if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below if you want to check out reviews for the watercolor paint brushes paper you can do a search on my website parkablocks.com or on my youtube channel i have a lot of reviews that i've created over the last few years so thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful see you in the next one bye